Good evening. This is PCTV, Prescott Cable Television, and Prescott Cardinal TV. Streaming on YouTube for a couple of years now. Remember, the opinions expressed in our broadcasts are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views, beliefs, or positions of PCTV, Prescott School District, their affiliates, or employees. I'm your announcer tonight, Chris Hove. Lucas Chainsaw Peterson is on the camera. Heather Hove is in the control room, and our producer tonight is Larry M. Let's get this game started tonight. Features two teams, middle border conference action on homecoming night tonight for Prescott. And Baldwin Woodville Blackhawks, who are number six ranked in the middle border conference, looking to uh, go back to state again this year. They lost in the second round to Columbus last year in the state tournament who uh, ended up actually winning the whole thing. Uh, tonight, Blackhawks are led by coach Dan Kiefer and quarterback Cal Smith, who has 25 total touchdowns already. He likes to run and pass. He can do it both. So the Cardinals will have their hands full here tonight with Baldwin Woodville. If they can get a win, that would put them in a tie for second place in the conference. And speaking of Prescott, they come off a big win last week against Amory, 61-21. to Teddy Burnick was throwing the ball all over the place out there. Nolan Tomley had a big game as well. And Prescott does have some pretty uh, big, big game players. They got Will Packard, Kobe Russell, as well as Barrett Timmers. And like I said, Nolan Tomley. And Teddy Burnick is also a guy who he can do with his legs as well. He can get you a few first downs running. And they're coached by Jordan Hansen. And Teddy Burnick also for the year, he's had a great year. He's got about 16 touchdowns and only two picks for the year. So both quarterbacks have played well. Baldwin Woodville won their last game against Osceola after losing to Rice Lake who Rice Lake is now leading the division undefeated. So they'll also be looking to get a couple games going here. Teddy Burnick has 15 TDs and two picks on the year. As Cal Smith, like I said, he has 17 passing touchdowns and eight rushing, so 25 total touchdowns for Cal Smith. And this Baldwin Woodville high-powered offense, averaging 44 points per game. We'll see if that Cardinal defense can shut them down. Starting lineups are finished here. It looks like Baldwin Woodville is going to be kicking off here as they're getting the ball set here at 40 yard line. Beautiful Laney Field. The field is wet. A couple weeks ago, we had the same thing. It rained pretty much all day and kind of cleared during the afternoon. And But right now, it looks beautiful in the sky. There's a lot of people here for homecoming night. And looks like we're going to have a good game. And the Cardinals, looks like they will receive it. Barrett Timmers and Kobe Russell back to return. They'll be about at the 10-yard line. And kicking off, looks like number 33. He's not listed here. That's a different number, 13. August Croning will be kicking off at his 40-yard line. Waiting at the five, Timmers and Russell. We have kickoff, here we go. Kick to the up back, he recovers at the 35. That was a good hands play there. We by number 16, Cole Platson. So they'll start at the 35 yard line, Teddy Burnick, who's had a great year passing, like I said, but he can also get you first downs with his legs as well. And he brings in uh, Will Packard, the number two receiver in the conference. Out there as well, is having a good year, number nine. And it'll be a three wide receiver set. Ball's actually marked at the 40 yard line. First and 10 in the shotgun. And Burnick fumbles, goes forward. I believe he might have recovered it. And I said before, the ground and the ball is wet. And just kind of a Botched handoff, but he does recover. So kind of a scary start there for the Cardinals. But they got two yards out of it. Second eight from the 42. Teddy in the shotgun. 
Four wide receivers set out towards our side. It's Owen Bayer. And now Packard in motion. We might have offsides on the defense. So two kind of mysterious plays here to start the game. A fumble and now an offsides. That'll make it more manageable. It'll be second and three now. That'll go up to the 47-yard line. And two wide receivers to each side. Timmers to Burnick's right in the shotgun. Back to his pass. Got trouble off the left side. He's running for it. To the 50, 45, slides at the 45. He's got the first down. Gain of about eight. He felt the pressure off the end. Just stepped up. Had a huge hole to run through. Good first down. So first and 10 now in Blackhawk territory at the 45. In motion is Packard. Handoff, Timmers, left side. He's got a hole, 40, 35. Couldn't break the tackle, but a good run. And if Gavin Sell doesn't make that tackle, Barrett Timmers would have been gone. But another big gain there. A run of about 17, first and 10. At the 34-yard line. And good thing, get the running game going here early for the Cardinals. And then let Teddy mix in that play action with his arm. In motion is Tomley. Fake handoff out to Russell. It's caught. Jukes to the left, back to the right. Not much there. But it'll be a gain. Positive yards there. And they only gave him, they only gave him two yards there. Looks like he got maybe more, but be second and eight from the 32. In the shotgun. And it looked like they went off sides again. So Burnick is not going on the first or second snap, and that is really making Baldwin Woodville jump as they do it again here. And now it'll be second and three from the from the 27 yard line. Cardinals driving here, first possession of the game. They start at the 40 yard line. At the snap, he's got pressure coming. He's going to be sacked this time. Nowhere to go here is Burnick as he got hit by first guy was number two, Colin Fritz. And he wouldn't have been able to go anywhere, so that'll be a sack. And that's going to be a loss of eight. Third down here, third and nine. That'll move back to the 35. As Owen Bayer checks in, number 11, he's over on the right with Owen T with uh, Tomley. Packard and Russell split out to the left with Timmers in the backfield. Burnett calls for the snap. He's got it. Good pressure. Runs out to the right. Looking for a guy to throw to. No one's open. Now he's going to throw it deep for Packard. Can't make the catch. It's picked off. It's picked off by Baldwin Woodville. Kind of an underthrown pass. And I don't know if he felt contact or what, but it was tipped up and number 20... Colton Hush picks it off. So that ends the Cardinals' drive there, but Baldwin Wendell has to start deep in their own territory at the eight-yard line. And that is where big-time player Cal Smith will start. The senior quarterback. Very dangerous with his legs and his feet. Come on, people, watch your cords. I can't see behind me. Gain of eight, first down. Second and three. Faced it up. Cal Smith up the middle. He's got the first down across the 25. He'll about a gain of 10. And that'll be a first down for the Blackhawks. It's just more of that read, read pass, or the run pass offense. Now he's in the shotgun formation here. It looks like we got a guy tying his shoe was Timmers. Now they whistle it. Yeah, 
In the shotgun, two wide receivers set to the right, one to the left, in motion. And we got moving all sorts on the line. Hush was in motion. I don't know who went first. Was it offense or defense? And it was the defense. It's going to be first and five offsides. So we've seen three offsides already in the game. Just trying to get that quick jump off the line. It's not working yet. So first and five from the 32. And a fake reverse to the left side. He's got a big hole. That is number three, Gavin Sell, and he is going to be gone. Packard to beat. Can't get him. Touchdown, Baldwin Woodville. They did a fake inside handoff, reverse out to the left side. And that is six to nothing, Baldwin Woodville. That is about a 60 yard run. And Gavin Sell is their top leading receiver in the conference, so he does it by running the ball. Looks like they'll attempt the point after here. August Croning. And that was a great design play there by Baldwin Woodville. Snap kick is up and it is good to make it 7 0. Baldwin Woodville. So we want to thank our Booster Club members tonight Cernho Chevrolet, over 89 years of service to Prescott, Croy Insurance Agency. First National Bank of River Falls and Prescott, Heart, Hands, and Mind Child Care, Helmer Printing and Ellsworth, Prescott Family Dental, Patax IGA, serving Prescott since 1912, PC Bonkers, River City Stitch, who give us our great hats and everything, the Wisconsin Credit Union, Inspiring Better, and to all of our cable, YouTube, and NFHF subscribers, we thank you. As Cardinals drive down, about the 30 yard line first possession a tipped pass results in a interception and then Baldwin Woodville comes about a 60 yard run from Gavin Sell to make it 7 nothing. and I don't even know if Sell's attempted a run this year I think that was his first run that was a big one like I said earlier Baldwin Woodville's averaging about 44 points per game so they score in their first possession. Cardinals got to come back and tie it up here. As they were driving. Let's see what Canning tries to do here. Tried to do a little pooch punt last time. And it was caught by the up back. Lewis Kinneman. This one's kicked deeper. Russell's going to have it at the 5. Up to the 10. 15-20. He's got a hole up the middle. To the left and out across the 25 to the 26. And that's where Teddy and his offense will start. They got a nice run from Barrett Timmers, the first possession. And then it just kind of stalled. They got a sack. That was Colin Fritz got that big sack to make it a long third down. And then the tip pass for the interception. Just, you know, Teddy trying to do something there, trying to make a play. Not really his fault there on the pick, but kind of underthrowing pass. So four wide receivers set again. Timmers is actually split out to the what? Now he comes back to, to Burnick's left. Running off tackle, across the 25, across the 30, and pushed out of bounds by Colton Hush. He had nothing and turned that into about a four-yard gain. Good effort there by Barrett Timmers. Mark it at the 34. He actually got eight out of that. Eight-yard gain. Second and two. And we might have another offsides again. And we do. Late call by the ref there. Teddy wanted it called, and the ref nodded yes, but couldn't get his flag out of his pocket. So he threw it late. That's going to be the third offside penalty for Baldwin Woodville. And this is the second possession for the Cardinals. That will give them an automatic first down. First and 10 at the 39. And first downs view the penalty they work too. They're just as well as five-yard run or five-yard pass. About 7.15 to play here in the first quarter. Handoff Timmers goes right guard. Hits in the backfield. And not much there. Might have lost the yard. 
Tackle by Haldart. Haldart with the tackle. And yeah, he did lose a yard. It's going to be second and 11 at the 38 now. Caden Haldorf, the junior linebacker. Also does a little running for the Blackhawks. This time inside, left side for Timbers. He's going to lose another yard. So it's going to be third and long here. I believe he lost another one. Oh, they put it back to the 38. So be no gain. Third and 11 from the 38. Johansson gets credit with the tackle. Now four wide receivers set, three split out to Burnick's left. And we almost had another offsides. Changing the play now. As Timmers will go to Teddy's right now. He's got the pet snap. Across the middle, overthrows Packard. Had him open, almost picked off by Colton Hush and so his timing was a little off. Teddy thought he felt pressure, threw it, overthrew him, and incomplete. And they'll have to punt. So 6.02 remaining. Back to receiver will be Gavin Sell. He's, he's dangerous with the ball. He's already had that rushing touchdown. Sell back to receive in the first ball on one And the punt, fair caught by Sell. At about the 38. Good high punt there. And that's what they'll start. First and 10 at the 38 with 5.56 to go. Already with a 7 0 lead ball on Woodville. On a big 60 yard run from Gavin Sell. They faked the inside handoff, went end around left side, and untouched. So Cal Smith in the shotgun. Three wide receivers set to the left. Now one in motion. Fake handoff. Smith will go up. Right guard. And a good hit there by... That was a good hit by... I'm trying to get the number here. He gets helped up. I think that might have been David Regnier. It was. That was Regnier. He had a nice tackle on that. Gain of one, second and nine. Now from the 41. Now we have a five wide receiver set here. Three to the left, two to the right. Actually, his running back's going to stay back. A little toss out to the left, caught. And he'll get a couple yards before... Nolan Tomley rattles him down. A couple Cardinals rally and gang tackle him there. That pass was out to uh, Ryan Vienendahl. Four-yard gain. It'll be third and five from the 44. Big stop here for Prescott. They can get it. In motion is Vienendahl. They hand it off. And a nice tackle in the backfield. They needed that one. William Roll. Roll. They handed it off to Holdorf, and I think they're going to punt. So it's fourth and five. We got no gain, and the Blackhawks are going to put the punter out here with Russell and Timmers waiting at their own 20 yard line for the punt. And this is August Croning to punt it. High snap. Kick is low and wobbly, and it's going to bounce all the way down. And it's going to be downed inside right at the five-yard line. Great punt, great coverage. And that'll pin them deep in their own territory. I think they're going to mark it at the, going to give them like the five-yard line, I believe. Right where he first touched it. Good to see the fans here for homecoming week, homecoming night as well. Always packed around that track and outside the fence there. So they'll start at the five, first and ten. Two wide receivers set. 
Timmers in the backfield with Burnick. Handoff. Timmers tries to go to the middle. Nothing there. Wrapped up. Good tackle. Thompson, Andrew Thompson. So no gain on that one. Timmers has just had that one run for about 19 yards. Hasn't got much since. Got about four or five carries for only probably about three yards. So second and ten here. See if they let Teddy throw it here. Four wide receivers set. And might have been offsides again. But they reset. Baldwin Woodville is jumping almost on, almost on every play. Russell in motion. They hand it to him, right side. Jukes back to the left. Across the 10. Good solo tackle over there. Haldorf again. He'll get a few yards on that. Six yard gain out to the 12. It's now third and four, under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Seven nothing ball to Woodville. On a Gavin Sell touchdown run on their first possession. Back to pass, and he, to, to call it incomplete, fell right out of his hand. And it was not tipped incomplete, and it's going to be fourth down. It did not look good from Teddy. Look, at it just fell right out of his hand. So a good field position here for the Blackhawks. Gavin Sell is going to go back to return the punt. Ike to punt for the Cardinals. Dietrich so, Ike to punt in his own end zone. So we'll see how this one goes here. Need to get a good punt here. And good high punt. Sell will fair catch it right at the 35. Great field position here for Baldwin Woodville. As they stop Prescott again. 2.31 to go. And Prescott can hold again here. It'd be a big hold, especially if they're pinned deep in their territory. You got Smith out there with Jackson Johansson. Gavin Sell. Smith in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff. Now he goes up the middle. Across the 30. Inside the 30. Good tackle there by Barrett Timmers. So Smith is going to have about five yards there. Mark it six. Six. Second and four from the 29. They do their hurry up offense here. Smith, now he does hand it off. And he's gonna be short of the first down. And it's gonna be probably about a yard to go here. Now he's handed off to Joe Hansen. And Regnier and William Bastian was in there. So third and one. Smith up the middle, gets by, breaks a tackle and another tackle. And Timmers had him right at the stick, but he broke it. And a first down there, good run. And wrapped up by Nolan Tomley. If Timmers gets him there, he'd be right at the stick. I think he would have still got the first down, but he got eight or nine more after that initial hit. If he marked it to 17. A fake handoff, Smith off left guard inside to about the 10 yard line. A lot of different directions here. Baldwin Woodville is going with the run game. Fake inside handoff to the right, fake toss to the right, and Smith kept it to the left. Second and four at the 11 yard line. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Now back to pass, throws it out, he's open, and he's got it. Number 31, Ryan Vienendahl. The passing touchdown, and it's 13 to nothing, Baldwin Woodville. Cal Smith's 18 passing touchdown on the year. And that's Vienendahl's second receiving touchdown. Extra point attempt for August Croning. Croning to attempt the extra point. Snap, good. Kick up. It is 
right down the middle, 14 nothing Baldwin Woodville. You know, if the Cardinals can just get something going on there with their pass game, open it up a little bit, control a little bit of this clock, keep Baldwin Woodville on the on the sidelines. But they just can't get anything going on this offense. But only 14 nothing still early here. They said earlier, Baldwin Woodville has state in sight here. They want to go get back to state like they did last year. Well, they have Rice Lake to catch. They lost to them two weeks ago, 28 34, up in Rice Lake. So they'll like need some help from Prescott and others to try to unseed the undefeated Rice Lake. But got to worry about this game first 14 0. 48 seconds to go in the first quarter. Cardinals trail. Here at Laney Field, beautiful Prescott, Wisconsin. There's the kick. Russell has it to the 10, 15, 20, looking for a block. Across the 25, juice to the right, across the 30, 35. Good run there for Kobe Russell. He's got that such a quick juke and first move as it's hard to know where, where he's going to go picked up about another 12 yards on that juke gets it out to the 35 yard line where this offense will start like I said they had a couple first downs first possession since then they've not done much a couple punts Teddy's had some issues with a wet ball a couple of his throws kind of one fell right off his hand last possession. Got Russell split to the left, two wide receivers to the right. Timmers in the backfield. In motions, Packard. Teddy keeps it. Goes up the middle, across the 35. On the Might have given him to the 38 for forward progress. We'll see where they mark it. They gave him a bad spot. I thought he got out to the 30. Oh, they, they did give him the 38. So three yard gain, second seven. They want to do another play here before the first quarter is done. Nobody's guarding Kobe Russell out here. Now there is. Russell was by himself there for a, for a while. They got single coverage on the outside there. See if they want to throw it here. Handoff Timmers goes right tackle. And it goes all the way to the outside. Tries to juke back in. Breaks the tackle, still going. Nice hard run for Timmers. Not much on the run, but he got more than he should have But for the effort. Deshane with the tackle. That'll be the end of the first quarter here at Laney Field. Baldwin Woodville Blackhawks 14, Prescott 0. Prescott has the ball here at the 40-yard line on a third and five. We haven't yet got out to see the volleyball team. The Senate their win streak again last night over Ellsworth. And now we're introducing the golf team. The golf team won the Middle Border Conference Championship again for their fourth straight year. And they're off to state. So good job, girls golf, and good job, girls volleyball on a roll here. Get out to the nest and check out the volleyball team. I think a couple home matches left before they get into the playoffs. They might even have a playoff home game. So third and five from the 40. Big play here for the Cardinals. Back to pass is Teddy. Now he rolls left. He's got plenty of space. Dumps it off to that bear. Got a lot of room there. Tackled and tripped up inside ball in Woodville territory. Well, that's going to be a first down, Cardinals, on a great design play there. Fake to the right, roll to the left. Bear just kind of scoots out in the middle of that zone. Dump it off to him. He's first and 10 at the 46. Good, easy 
easy yards there. Now they're going to throw this one to Tomlin, but he's going to be wrapped up, breaks a tackle, still going. Might, might give him a yard. And they still can't get him down. He's a small guy, but Nolan Tomlin is he's built pretty good. He's a baseball player as well. He's quick, strong legs. It'll be a gain of one. So it'll be second and nine. Four wide receivers set. Bears up top by himself. We have Packard, Russell, and Tomley down to the right. They bring Bayer in now a little bit. In the shotgun is Burnick. Back to pass. He's got a good pocket and knocked down right at the last second. Had a good block that was knocked down by Colin Fritz. He already has his sack tonight. And they had Tomley open. Just a good play there. Get your hands up, knock it down. This time they'll put three out to the left side. And we got confusion here on offense. And Baldwin Woodville a little confused as well, so they'll have to call timeout. First charge timeout for Baldwin Woodville at the 11 07 mark. Uh, now you, you want Prescott to get more manageable third downs here, like third and fours, but last couple of possessions they've been third and nine, third and seven. But inside Baldwin Woodville territory, they might go for it on fourth down here. So it might be two, two more downs here to get nine yards. Already down two scores. You kind of got to go end zone. Got to go for broke here. But that's why I'm up here. And that's why they're coaching down there. I tend to run my thoughts more like a Madden player. Always want to score, score, score. But that's just me. Third and nine from the 45. Looks like uh, number 22, Brody Linder will replace Owen Bayer. He'll be split out here to the right side. It'll be three wide to the left. Timmers in the backfield with Burnick. Shotgun snap. Good pocket. Throws across, caught by Packard, hit hard at the 30, but that is a first down. Colton Hush put a good hit on him, all the way down to the 30-yard line. 15-yard pass and catch, Burnick to his number one receiver, Will Packard. Now Timmers jukes left out to the right, still going forward. About to the 25-yard line. Man, he's been getting some hard runs here for only a few yards, but good to see him running hard. Be second and seven from the 26 now. Prescott has to get something on the board here as they trail 14-0. On a passing touchdown to Wienendahl and a rushing touchdown from Gavin Sell. Teddy gets a new play here. Linder in motion. Out to the right now, nothing going. Number Hand off to Harry. Timmers, inside draw. Tackle by Dylan Vienendahl. And that's Dylan Vienendahl with the tackle. No gain, third and seven. I talked about it, another one have a manageable third down here. Now they've had third and seven and more to go here in the last few possessions. Three wide receivers set. Burnick in the shotgun, pass right, goes left, throws it up, and that's picked off again. Not a good decision there from Burnick. Heavily covered, that's picked off by Colton Hush again. And that was just not good decision at all. And that'll be the second interception of the night. Ball in the Woodville will take over. And we have an injured Blackhawk on the field. That's Gavin Sell. Their big play guy. Don't let, don't want to see that. He already has a touchdown tonight. He also plays linebacker for this team. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Teddy just rolled left and he didn't have anyone from the start. Tried to make a play and threw it in a double coverage. 
Good job of going to getting the ball by Hush there. So Sell looks to be okay. He's up on the sideline. Good to see him walking there. So it's first and 10 from the five yard line. Cal Smith will take over. It's the number one and number two passing attack here. Teddy is number one in yards and Cal Smith is number two. So good quarterback battle here tonight. First and 10 for Baldwin Whitville on their own five yard line. We have three wide receivers out to the right. Smith and shotgun takes it. Now he keeps it himself. Left guard breaks a tackle, crosses 10, 15. Smith and it looks like that's going to be a first down. Tackle by Linder. Before that's Brody Linder can get him. He broke at least three tackles there. Good hard running out first to the 16. The on their own 21. So 11-yard rush. As he is also their leading runner on the team. Like I said before, with that passing touchdown, that's his 26th total touchdown already on the year. Back to pass. Good time. Throws it, and it was unbelievable play there by Colin Fritz. Will Packer tried to one-hand the interception and tipped it right to him. Unbelievable luck there. That's going to go all the way out to the 35-yard line. I mean, Packer... It's hard for him to get two hands on. He just tipped it right into the hands. And now a first down run here for Smith. Breaks a couple more tackles. Smith on the carry. He's only going to get a few yards there. Timmers and Tackle by Bayer. Owen Bayer. Just an unlucky play there for the Cardinals. I mean, Smith threw it to nobody. And it's just tipped right to the receiver. Four wide receivers set. Second eight from the 37. Blackhawks started at their own five-yard line. On another interception thrown by Burnick. Back to pass. Coming up the middle, and he ro rolls out to the left. Easy pass there. Dumped it off. Cross midfield. Into Cardinal territory. Pass to Colton Hush. First down. And Colton Hush has had a hell of a game already. He's had two picks. And now it's his second first down receiving. He also had a few tackles on defense as well. Now Jackson Johansson comes back in. He'll be the running back next to Cal Smith. Hush in motion. And Smith keeps it. Spins. Eludes a tackler before number 16. Cole Plasson. He spun twice, got away from two guys, but only only about a yard or two. They'll give him two yards, second eight. Now inside Cardinal territory to the 45, 44 yard line. Four wide receivers set. Back to pass now. Airs it out. He's got a guy open. And that's Gavin Sell, their number one receiver in the conference. He beat Kobe Russell. A great pass to the corner of the end zone. It is 20 to nothing, Baldwin Woodville. That's just one on one play there. He got him beat. That is Gavin Sell's ninth receiving touchdown of the year. And Cal Smith's 19th passing touchdown of the year. Point after here August Croning. He's made all, he's made the first two so far. Snap good, hold, and the kick is high and good. 21 nothing, ball to Woodville. A second touchdown on the day for Gavin Sell. And second total touchdown for Cal Smith. The Cardinals just got to come back and mistake-free football here. Come down, try to get a score. Go to half, down two. They won't get the ball, though. It'll be Baldwin-Woodville ball at half. Or to start the third. Six-five. See, it's only six-to-five Prescott in the first down category, but 
been the big plays for Baldwin Woodville. That was about a 40 yard pass to Sell and a 60 yard run from Sell. And they've had great field position this game, kind of allowing them not to have to go very far. But that one was a 95 yard drive there. And just got to, Teddy's not got to worry about it. Just keep relying on his arm and try to get something on the board here. Kanan kicking it. Timmers and Russell back to return. Looks like it's going to be Russell again. Across the 20. Got some room. Across the 40. 45. Tripped up right at midfield. A good trip up there by Trevor Murdoch and a great return from Kobe Russell. About a gain of 46. They'll credit Vienendahl there, but I think it was Murdoch that tripped him up there, number 52. The market at the 49 yard line. So great field position here for the Cardinals. They got to punch it in here to. First and 10 at the 49. Any momentum here going to half. There's a refs out there helping Kobe with his shoulder pad. All the guys walked right by him. And it's the ref that has to help him. So three wide receivers set here. Tomley up to the bottom of your screen. Back to pass is Burnick. Airs it out again. He had Tomley just cut off his route a little too short. But there were three Blackhawks in the area incomplete. It was second and ten. Good idea there. Just better defense. Kinnaman will come out and William roll back out there. Across that offensive line. We got multiple guys tying shoes now. It's one of those nights, shoe tying night. And now the ref's helping him tie his shoe. <laughs> I don't know if he's got an equipment issue or. All right, we got it. Hush had, uh, had to get his shoe tied. All right, second and 10 from the 49. In motion is Russell. They hand it off to him. Eludes one tackler. Across the 50, got a good block from Timmers. And out of bounds. Inside Blackhawk territory. He had a nice block outside by Timmers. It's going to be third down, but more manageable here. Third and two now at the Blackhawk 43-yard line. This is going to be four-down territory regardless here for the Cardinals. And now switching plays is Coach Hanson. Hand off Timmers. Goes out right side. Jukes, and he's going to lose a yard. He kind of wanted a north-south play there, but he kind of juked and went east and west and lost a couple yards. He'll lose one, be fourth and three. Now from the 44, they will go for it. Now Finn Stanton into the game for the Cardinals. Give him an extra blocker there off to the right side. Timmers and Russell in the backfield. Hand it off to Timmers. He goes forward. And a little uh, <laughs> rough house in there from Regnier. But Timbers gets the first down. He was hit at the line. Extra effort for him. You know he doesn't get hit. He doesn't get tackled normally on the first hit. It's always a second and third hit for him. So first and 10 to 39. Back to pass. Burnick. Looking left, looking right. Rolls to the right. And now he's just going to run, keep it, run out of bounds. Not much on the game, but no need to take a hit there. We'll give him no gain there. Second and 10. In the shotgun. Burnick has it. 
Good pocket, throws it out. Look at there's some contact on the play with Packard. The, the defender was holding him. And no call there, incomplete. As the sideline and Packard both want pass interference on that. So it'll be incomplete third and ten. As Packard now gets back to the line. Guy's got a lot of energy there. Will Packard. Rolls out to the right is Burnick. Pass out of bounds. Out of the reach of Packard. Incomplete. And that's going to be fourth down. Fourth down and ten. Let's see what they want to do here. Looks like they will keep the offense out there. Fourth and ten at the 39. We got Owen Baird, Nolan Tomley, Will Packard, and Kobe Russell. Four wide receivers set. Burnick's been getting some time to throw here. He's just seems like he's rushing it a little bit. Looks like a blitz coming from the Blackhawks. Now they might be showing there as they do come. A blitz airs it out and overthrowing for Nolan Tomley. They had him one on one. He had him beat, overthrowing, and Baldwin Woodville will take the ball back with 5.58 to go. 21 0 lead. First and 10 for Baldwin Woodville on their own 39. Got Mason Schumer out there, David Regnier. Timeout. We got a timeout Prescott here. Their first timeout. I don't know what that is. You you have a turnover of downs and then you come out and call a timeout. So a little confusion there for the Cardinals. A sold out Laney Field tonight. Right? We're sold out, right? The control room says we're sold out tonight at Laney Field. Oh, yeah. Like we are every night. Yep, standing room only. That's the only seat you're going to get. Actually, a really nice, really nice September night. Not going to get too many more of these before that snow comes. So first and 10, starting at the 39-yard line for Cal Smith and his Blackhawk offense. It's been Cal Smith and Gavin Sell show here on offense, as it typically is for them. In the shotgun, hands it off. Left guard, jukes to the right. He's got some yards. Out to the 45-yard line. Good first down run there for Holdorf, Tate and Holdorf, the junior halfback. Brody Linder gets that tackle. But gain of six, second and four from the 45. Now at the five and a half minute mark here in the first half, all Baldwin Woodville. Pass there. Oh, he looted the tackle. And gets a couple yards there. They had him for a five-yard loss. Russell had him, I believe. But good job of Russell coming back into the play and wrapping him up with Brody Linder as well. And William Bastian also in on the play there. Third and three from the 46. Smith keeps it left side. He's got some room. Cuts back to the right. Breaks a tackle out to the 30, 25. Cuts it back to the right, inside the 15. Method and a Perry. big run there, a 31-yard run from Cal Method Smith before Nolan Tomley can get him down. Baldwin, and down. a big move of chains there. First and 10 for Baldwin Woodville. On the got 14. First and 10 from the 14 inside the red zone here. And he keeps it again. Goes out to the left side again. 
Good tackle there from Will Packard. Get about four more on the play, I believe. We marked at the 12-yard line. Second eight from the 12. Smith in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff. Puts it inside now. Right guard. I believe that was Jackson Johansson. And he's close to a first down. Going to be a couple yards short maybe. If they got to get to the five, it's at the seven. So it'll be third and three. Or right, got to get to the four yard line. Third and three from the seven. Three wide receivers set. Hush in motion. Fakes his run. Now throws it. Knocked away. Good defensive play by Cole Platson on third down. Gets inside leverage. Knocks it away. Intended receiver was Graydon Monikin. And it's fourth down and three. They're definitely going to go for it here. As Smith looks in and gets his play. See the formation they're going to run here. They might run it. With Smith just go right up the middle. Crowd trying to get into it here. Fakes pass to the left. Goes to the right. Hit hard once. But extra effort gives him the first down, I believe. And it will be a first down. Cardinals had him at the line. But good hard running by Smith. Gets it inside the five. And to the three. First and goal. Smith runs left side. Finds a hole. Dives in. Touchdown, Cal Smith. 27-0. Baldwin Woodville. And Cal Smith and Gavin Sell. That is Cal Smith's ninth rushing touchdown. Actually, check that as 10th. Is two rushing and a passing. So 27 0. And that'll bring August Croning back in on his fourth attempt. Snap high, hold good. The kick is right down the middle. 28 0. 307 to go here for the Cardinals. And like a couple weeks ago. Just can't get anything going here. They get something going and then can't get the first downs and it stalls. So Cal Smith now has 28 total touchdowns already. Is 19 passing, you now 9 rushing. Kicking off, it's, cro it's croning. Russell and Timmers. Let's see if they can get a decent run back here to maybe get something here in the last three minutes of the first half. I mean, something, anything to get their momentum going here. Because Baldwin Woodville gets the ball at half. A little pooch punt, that's going to go out of bounds. Ball was caught there by the up back at the 35. That's Ethan West. So decent field position here with 3.05 to go. They'll start at the 35 yard line. First and done for Prescott on their own 35. See if the Cardinals try to go conservative or if they try to be aggressive here. Four wide receivers set with Linder back in there. He's at the bottom of your screen. 
Number 22. Fake handoff, throw out to Russell, got a little screen for him. Bounces out to the left, another juke to the left. Got Hush dancing out there, first down. Clock will still run across midfield. So a gain of 20 there, good first down play. And good good run in there from Kobe Russell. The market at the 47 yard line. So it'll officially be a gain of 18. Burnick in the shotgun. Same formation as last play. Send the hand it off. Left tackle. Got some room. Ethan West running over some people, running over another guy. He's right at the stick. And a good hard run by the junior running back there, That's Ethan the West. And he does get the first down. Gain of 11. Now first and 10 at the 36. So all of a sudden, Cardinals have... Some momentum going here on the first on first downs. Getting some chunk yardage here. Now Baldwin Woodville looks all out of source on defense. They gotta call timeout. That'll be the second charge timeout for Baldwin Woodville. Looks like they didn't have the right formation out there. So two ten remaining here. Cardinals are driving though. They looked good this possession. See if they can punch it in the end zone here. Any way they can do it. Looks like we might have the band and cheerleaders at halftime here. Another great national anthem put on here. They typically have pretty good national anthem singers even at the basketball games and football games. Megan Richter sang the National Anthem last night, the volleyball game. As well as she uh, played a good game as well. So first and 10 at the 36. Burnick will be in the shotgun. In motion is Packard to hand it off to Packard. He's looking for a block, doesn't have much. Turns around the corner and he gets him around the neck there. Kind of a dangerous tackle there from Gavin Sell. Just put his arm around, headlocked him and pulled him down. So they'll give him no gain. Second and 10. Actually, he's going to lose a yard. Second and 11 from the 37. Clock is running. 140 to go. Now pass to Tomley. Gets a block from Linder, breaks a tackle. He's still going. They just haven't been able to tackle Nolan Tomley tonight. No matter what's happened, he will not go down. Tackle by Fritz. And finally Fritz gets him. Gain of seven. 27 yard line. And now we have a flag and I think it's gonna be on Prescott. False start on Prescott. This will move it back five yards. So now it'll be third and six from the 32-yard line. And it's stuff like that that'll ruin the momentum. Penalties, drop passes, turnovers. But still got a good drive going here. Clock is still running. And Timmers up the middle. Good hard hit there across the 20-yard line. First down, Prescott. Colton the Hush with the tackle. That was just kind of a delay handoff there. Under a minute to go. First and 10 at the 19. Now hand off to West. He gets hit right at the line, but goes forward a couple more yards. He might have got two there. Clock is still running here. Sauer will get that tackle. Two timeouts for Prescott here. Now with 30 seconds to go, second eight from the 17. Hand off to West again. And kind of running there, still going. And he fumbles it, West on the carry. but they call him down. I don't know about that. Timeout, Prescott. And Pre looked like the play was still going there. The whistles are going. Prescott called the timeout when the guy was still running. So nonetheless, they do get the timeout called. 20 seconds left. Let's see what we get. 
Ethan West got another carry there. It'll be third and two from the 11. So Cardinals got to get something in here. Now they have one timeout left, 20 seconds to go. Might try one pass here, another run and maybe a pass, depending on what happens here on this third down play. You can still run it. You have that timeout. But that's why I'm up here. Playing some Jay-Z at the at Laney Field here. So timeout over. Burnick rallies the troops. Third and two at the 11 of Baldwin Woodville. They need to get something on the board here as it's 28 0 Blackhawks. Cal Smith and Gavin Selshow. Back to pass. Delay runs it up the middle. Burnick's still going inside the five. Clock running here. He's going to get the first down. It's going to be first and goal. And now they, they do call the timeout. Somehow it's only five seconds went off the clock. It, it was a delayed kind of run. That's Teddy Burnick's pretty fast for five seconds there. So first and goal at the four. 15 seconds to go. Cardinals are now out of timeouts. So they either got to try and pass here in the end zone or hope they get that run in the end zone. Now they're kind of on the farther side of the field from where we are up here. It's kind of hard to see exactly where everything is. Hopefully Chainsaw is getting some good footage for you guys to see it. All right, let's see. Bayer will come back out as well. Actually, that's Finn Stanton checking in. They check him in on jumbo packages for extra blocking, so they might run it here. He's kind of like a the specialty blocker. Timmers and Kobe Russell in the backfield with Burnick. A tight formation. Packard out to the right. They toss it to Russell. Now he throws it, and it's is it intercepted? It's in and out of the hands of the receiver and intercepted. Unbelievable. That is Colton Hush again. They toss it to Russell. He threw it wide open receiver in and out of his hands, and they picked it off. Unbelievable. That's Hush's third pick of the night. And he's had two just given to him. That was in the receiver's hands. It bounced off his knee into Hush's hands. So now it'll be nine seconds left. And there was a touchback. It'll come back to the 20-yard line. And just some bad luck for the Cardinals. First and 10 for Ball of Woodville at their own 20-yard line. I don't know who the intended receiver was, but he was wide open. So no points on the board there. It looks like Cal Smith will they'll run a play. Kind of interesting there that they'll run a play there. Throw it to Gavin Sell. This pass the cell. An easy 11 yards. Three seconds to go here. The ball in Woodville, first down. One timeout remaining. And they add a second, so now three seconds left. This has been quite the last 20 seconds here at Laney Field. We had a, what, a 10 second run for Burnick that only cost him five seconds. Now, Four wide receivers set here for Cal Smith in the shotgun. And he fakes the handoff. Now he runs left. And he's caught there right at the line. That'll be the second half. That'll be William Roll, credit with the tackle. But we'll go to halftime here. Score, all Baldwin Woodville, 28 nothing over Prescott Cardinals. And we'll take a little break here. And we'll be back with you here in about 10 minutes.
PC TV back here with you for the second half at Laney Field. Sold out crowd. We are doing a little bit of flag wars here. Got the flag runners running back and forth with each other. 28 nothing is our score at halftime. And a little recap. It's been uh, Cal Smith and Gavin Sell show like we thought it would be. Uh, Cal Smith had two passing touchdowns, one to, to Ryan Vienendahl and one to Gavin Sell, as well as uh, Cal Smith had a rushing touchdown. And Gavin Sell had a big 60-yard rushing touchdown there to recap the scoring, 28 nothing. Cardinals had a couple possessions here that kind of stalled. A couple of interceptions, well, three interceptions, two were you know, tip balls right into the defender's hands. It's kind of unlucky stuff, but they haven't been getting much going with Teddy and the passing game. That last possession, they did get about 50 or 60 yards through the air. Uh, Kobe Russell's had some really good runs here on the return, as well as a couple of uh, kind of screens set up for him. I look to see more of that. As something to recap you for the Middle Border Conference, Rice Lake is up 24-18 on Somerset. As Rice Lake looks to stay undefeated, Ellsworth is pitching a shutout against Osceola, 24-0. As that Rice Lake-Somerset game is going to come down to a last-second touchdown, 24-18. I believe Rice Lake is on the road for that one. At Somerset. Always hard to play on the road no matter who it is. Never know because it always seems like when you're undefeated you have a target on your back and they're going to give you your hardest game. I think the boys basketball team kind of learned that the last couple of years. Is But Cardinals can get back in this. It's not over yet. Ball and Woodville will receive the ball though. They need to get a stop here on the first possession. Uh, Cal Smith, that was his 18th and 19th passing touchdown, his ninth rushing touchdown. Gavin Sell, that was his ninth receiving touchdown. Ryan Vienendahl's second receiving touchdown. And I don't have Gavin Sell recording a rushing attempt this year, so I'm going to say he's one for one in the touchdown and attempt category. One attempt and one touchdown. So counting down the seconds here, about 40 seconds left till we have kickoff here in the second half. As we saw the Packers lose last night to the Lions at Lambeau, the Vikings are in the 0-3 game on Sunday. Play the 0-3 Adam Thielen and Carolina Panthers. So I tried to watch the first three games of the Vikings. It's been pretty hard to watch. Nine turnovers. But hope they get a win against Adam. Good to see Adam Thielen again. He's a Mankato native. But we need a Vikings win. We need a Prescott win. And going to next week. Zero on the clock here. Teams are getting ready to come back out. On defense, it's been pretty much Colton Hush. Three interceptions. All three well, two were off uh, Teddy Burnick, and then they had a halfback pass from Kobe Russell off the receiver's hands and into Hush's hands. Ike, kick, kick for the card, no. And Dietrich Ike ready to kick off. Brody Linders had a pretty good defensive game. He's had a lot of tackles here tonight. Standing back is Vienendahl. And it looks like number 20, Hush. And here's the kickoff. We're ready to play for the second half. And he kicks it over their head and through the end zone. What a kickoff. Be a touchback to start. And Cal Smith will take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Let's see what kind of energy and momentum here Prescott comes out with here knowing that they're down a few scores, but First and ten for they get a turnover here or a quick yards. stop. Anything can happen. No sacks on the day yet for Prescott. One for Baldwin-Woodville is Colin Fritz. 
And Smith back to pass. Pressure there, steps up, now throws it, and it's off. Like we've said all night, off the defender's hands of Packard and right into the hands of Ryan Vienendahl. That's been the story of the night. And that's going to be a 62-yard pass and catch. I mean, Will Packard had that thing picked off. Off his hands, Vienendahl gets it. And now all the way down to the 27-yard line. Not what Prescott needed here to start the second half. I thought they had a pick, but nonetheless, there's a good carry there. Number 17. I believe that is uh, Johansson right up the middle and through the defense before Barrett Timmers brings him down. It'll be a first down. All the way down to the 14-yard line, 13-yard run. And now Smith holds it there. They got him in the backfield. First pursuit was William Roll, and Brody Linder wrapped him up. So they lost four on that play. Second 14 now at the 18-yard line. And Prescott, man, they just keep those tip balls. They bring at least one of those back, and they'd be right back in this game. They had a touchdown go away from that. They had a touchdown on them that they got tipped to the receiver's hands and now a pick a pick six could have been for uh, Will Packard. Throw out there to the right, caught. That's Vienendahl. Tries to elude a couple tacklers, but Prescott gang tackles there. It'll be a more manageable third down. Looks like they'll spot it at the 11 yard line. Third and seven from the 11. They're getting Vienendahl going here early. Start the second half. Four wide receivers set. Back to pass is Smith. A little bit of pressure up the middle. Throws it up and knocked away. Good play by Nolan Tomley. Covering Colin Fritz. He got the inside coverage and knocked it away. That's how you play the cornerback position right there. Nolan Tomlin's had a pretty good season this year for the Cardinals, both offensively and defensively. Now they're going to go for it here on fourth and seven from the 11. That's Fritz and Monikin split out to the left. Now I think Vienendahl joins them. Gavin Sell up top, the lone receiver against Kobe Russell. Pass, throw it up to Sell, and Sell falls down. Incomplete turnover of downs. And a late flag. No flag. No flag. Thought there's a late hit there. No flag. Turnover on downs will be first and ten. The Cardinals did what they needed to do, but a little late there. Kind of deep in their own territory, but <clears throat> no points on the board. As we see the sheriff go by here at Laney Field. Blowing the smoke as well in the stands. So first possession here in the second half for Burnick and his offense. It'll be spot at the 11-yard line, first and 10. Three wide receivers set, Russell in motion. Burnick does the inside carry out Burnick across the carry. 15. And he is hit low there at the knees. Tripped up by Ryan Vienendahl. That'll be Ryan Vienendahl. That'll be a gain of, I believe, four. Maybe five. Gain of five. Second and five from the 16. So good first down yardage there for Prescott. Now hands it off. Timmers gets hit at the line. Cross the 20. Gets right at the stick. Good Hector running there from Barrett Timmers. And they're going to move the chains. There'll be a first down Prescott. That's a Prescott first and 10 first marked down. at the 21-yard line. First and 10. Barrett Timmers, you got to hit him with more than one guy. If he's solo on a guy, more than likely he's going to make the guy miss. And he's done that. Tonight. He hasn't had a lot of room running. But when he has, he's made some guys miss. First and 10 at the 21, approaching the nine-minute mark here in the third quarter. 
In motion is Packard. Now they throw it in the backfield. He's got it. Across the tackle, slips out of bounds. Back on the carry. But he'll have about a good gain here. Across the 25 to the 26. Another five yard gain on first down. It'll be second and five at the 26. Cardinals hurrying it up here. Now changing plays is Burnick. He's got his play. Now he switches the play again. A little bit of confusion here on offense. Now he's got the snap. Pressure coming everywhere. He got one on one and it's dropped. Burning fast. Russell, Russell can't catch it, so it'll be third down. They had a uh, suicide blitz there. Everybody coming. They had the ends coming. They had the linebackers coming. Had to get it away early. It's a good pass. Just couldn't corral it. Third and five from the 26. Switching the play again. A little cat and mouse going on here. And the shotgun calls for the snap. And switching plays again. This is, might be a coverage play now. He switched it to a run. Good call there. Jukes to the right. Timmers to the 50. 45 takes a big hit from number three, Gavin Sell. And he points to him first down as Sell put a little authority to that hit. Inside Blackhawk territory to the 40-yard line. First down, Cardinals. That was a run of 24. And I'll throw out to Will Packard. And he can't get the block that he needed from Tomley. And a good job by number 55, Noah Sauer. And Lochterman kind of shedding off that block on the outside to get that tackle. Because Will Packard is fast, and he had a lot of space in front of him. So Packard and Tomlin split out to the right. Owen Bear up to the top on the left. With Barrett Timmers in the backfield. Cardinals putting together a little drive here. Back to pass. He's got pressure. Throws it out. Caught Tomley. Inside the 35. Sheds a tackle. And almost breaks another one. Good play there from Nolan Tomley. It'll be a first down, 20-yard play. All the way down to the 19-yard line of Baldwin Woodville, first and 10. So officially a 21-yard pass and catch. And now here's Burnick rolling left, or rolling right. Throws it up. Got him wide open, just overthrew Nolan Tomley. And he, he had him and just overthrew it. But, so second and 10 here. I think Teddy clapped his hands or he wants that one back. That's one that he normally makes. But have another shot at it here. Second and 10 at the 19. Fake handoff Timmers throws it out to Russell. Doesn't have much though as Packard had two guys to block and couldn't pick up any of them. But I like the bubble screens of Russell there, just have a little bit more blocking there. He's dangerous, he has a lot of speed. He'll get one, third and nine, the market at the 18 yard line. And four down territory regardless, so they gotta get nine yards in two plays here. Shuffling around here is the Blackhawk defense. Now they're going to change plays as well. A lot of cat and mouse changing plays here by offense and defense. Back to pass is Burnick in the pocket. Throws it up and it's caught by Owen Bayer right around the five yard line. That's going to move to six. It's going to be first and goal here. They'll mark it just outside the five at the seven yard line. So first and goal from the first seven. And, for the Cardinals. First and, goal for the Cardinals at the seven. and run to Timmers, left guard inside the five, breaks a tackle. 
He's still up, but his progress was stopped. Let's see where they're going to mark it here. He was stood up by a couple of Blackhawk players. They're not going to give him much on that. It's going to be second and goal. They got to mark it at the six. He might have got a yard on that run. No, no gain. So second and goal, under six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Cardinals trying to get anything on the board. Faked it. Timmers, Burnick will take it. He's going to lose a couple yards. So that time they faked it to Timmers. Burnick kept it, but Johansson was right there for the make the tackle. Now third and nine. So actually third and goal from the nine. Once again, you got two plays to get nine yards. So you don't technically have to go to the end zone here. And here comes another play. Two split out to the left. And now we got another different play. Showing blitz here, the Blackhawks. Looks like they got an all-man blitz here. Gonna have, you're going to have single coverage on the outside. And we've got a flag now. Is it delay a game? I don't, know, I don't know what the Cardinals were doing there. They're just sitting there with the ball. So that's going to move it back five yards. It'll be third and goal from the 14. I don't understand that. It's like they didn't want to snap the ball. So Burnick in the shotgun, four wide receivers set. He's got it. Looks to pass. Got some pressure, loses the pressure. Runs out to the left. Still running, runs out of bounds. He'll get a bunch of yards back, maybe to the five yard line. See where they mark it. Like, it's, like I said, we're on the opposite side of the field here, so we can't quite see. It's going to be at the five, so we picked up nine. It'll be fourth and goal from the five. As now Linder comes back in, replaces Nolan Tomley. Got to get five yards here to break the shutout. As Prescott stopped Baldwin Woodville, their first possession of this quarter, and now this is their first possession. Burnick, nowhere to go. He's going to get sacked. That play was blown up from the start. They faked the handoff to Timmers, and he was hit by three Blackhawks. Turnover on downs. That was Andrew Thompson coming right up the middle. And they'll turn it over to Baldwin Woodville. Some errant chance here from the stands now. Want their Cardinals to get going here. First and 10 for Baldwin Woodville on their own 10 yard line. Cardinals need one of those turnovers now. First and 10 at the 10. Cal Smith hands it off. And he's tackled there. Hold the the Holdorf the with the carry. Tackle by Timmers. Barrett Timmers with a nice tackle. Didn't get much. No gain. We second 10 from the 10. But more important thing, clock running under four and a half to go in the third. 28-0 Baldwin to Woodville. Prescott's best chance of scoring. Last possession stalled at the five-yard line. Fake the toss left and missed tackles there. That is Gavin Sell. Not going to beat Packard. He'll bring him down. And now he does what Nolan Tomley, or what Packard did to them. He shows the first down mark. And that is going to be a 51 yard pass and catch to Gavin Sell. And him and Cal Smith have just killed him. Once again, they had him at the line, missed the tackle. First and 10 for Baldwin Woodville at the Prescott 38. Fake the handoff. Smith up right up the gut the to the 35. Tackle by Schumer. Mason Schumer will get the tackle on that. So it'll be a gain of two, second and eight at the 36. Yeah, Sell just gave Packard a little bit of his own medicine. Gave him the first down mark. Oh 
Now Linder switches all the way over to the other side. Holdorf on the carry. Holdorf on the carry. Timmers tackle with the tackle. Uh, but a gain of five. So it'll be another third down and manageable here for the Blackhawks. So we're at the 32-yard line, third and three. Got three wide receivers set. Holdorf is still out in the backfield. Fake the handoff. Smith jukes left, and he's going to be short of the first down. Good tackling there by the Cardinals that time. Tackle by Bayer. Owen Bayer in there. And it'll be a gain of two. It'll be fourth and one at the 30. I believe they'll go for it here. Looks like Holdorf was a little shaken up there. He had to come out. Replacing him was that number 20, Colton Hush. We've heard his name a lot tonight. He's got three picks. And he played a great defensive game, too. In motion is Hush. And they're going to draw him off sides. Prescott's going to give him the first down on a bad penalty off sides. And it'll be first and 10. That's a Baldwin Woodville first down. Spot at the 25 yard line now. First and 10 for Baldwin Woodville on the Prescott 25. Smith back to pass. Feels a little pressure, steps up, he's gonna run. And takes a big hit from Bayer. Gets down Step about the, the 20 carry. yard line. Tackle by Bayer. Looks like Bayer and looks like to wrap him up at the end. There's Gavin Miller. Sophomore defensive back. Good to see him getting some time out there. So second and five from the 20, approaching the one minute mark here in the third quarter. Fake the pass to the right and knocked down there. Incomplete. Good play by number 50, Mason Schumer. Just gets his hand up there, knocks it down. Finally, one of those that didn't end up in the receiver's hands. Seems like anything we've tipped tonight has been right to the receivers or their defenders. So third and five. Clock stopped at one minute and one second. Fake the handoff to the right. Cal Smith up left guard. Be a couple yards short. And Brody Linder for being down four touchdowns. He's accumulated a lot of tackles tonight. He's been in on a lot of plays. Fourth and two now at the 17. Big David Regnier on one knee down there. Looks like he's pretty tired there. They've been on the field a lot. Well, this will be a big stop here. Fake the handoff. Smith off left guard. Breaks to the middle. He's going to be in for a touchdown again. Just had a huge That's hole up left guard. Cal Broke it to the middle of the field. No one there. 34 nothing. Cal Smith with the rushing touchdown. That'll be his second rushing touchdown of the night. Number 10 on the year. And it's 34-0 Baldwin-Woodville. There's August Croning again. So far he is 4 for 4 on his extra points. High snap. But the kick is there. It's good. 5 for 5. 35 nothing Baldwin-Woodville. 19 seconds to go in the third. Prescott's had their chances, believe it or not. They have had their chances in this game. The miscues, the penalties. The game should be probably a little closer than it looks, but nonetheless, it's 35 nothing. And let's go through our sponsors, our Booster Club members. We want to thank Cerno Chevrolet, over 89 years of service to Prescott. Croy Insurance Agency. First National Bank of River Falls and Prescott. Heart, Hands, and Mind Child Care. Helmer Printing in Ellsworth. Prescott Family Dental. Patax IGA, serving Prescott since 1912. PC Bonkers, River City Stitch. Provide us with our nice hats. PCTV hats. The Wisconsin Credit Union, Inspiring Better. 
And thank you to all of our cable, YouTube, and NFHS subscribers. Not what they want to see tonight, but see what uh, momentum Prescott can get to go into next week. As the Cardinals will be at Ellsworth next week, and then they finish up home against Rice Lake. Those are two very big games for the Cardinals. As I said, Rice Lake is winning tonight so far, and they are 4-0. and And Baldwin-Woodville goes to St. Croix Central with could be the second place spot in the middle border conference. Then they finish up at Amory. So still some big games to come here. Prescott's likely not going to win this one, but kind of a little high kick there caught by the up back. That's Ethan West down the sideline to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. And he's hit hard there by Colin Fritz. And I don't think that's what Baldwin Woodfield wanted to happen there. They kicked it to the up back, and he just ran down the sideline. No one could tackle him. Puts out of bounds by Fritz. But Fritz knocks him out of bounds right around the 20 yard line. He almost stepped out to 30, but kept his balance. Good there. Good job by Ethan West. That's another guy who hasn't had a lot of touches tonight, but he has made his presence known with the touches he's had. First so the market inside the, the 20, first the and 10 at the 18 yard line. And let's see if Prescott inside the red zone again here. Let's see if they can. They're 0 for 2 with a couple turnovers. Handoff, Packard goes left, spins, can't get by the tackler number 12, Cal Smith. Tackle Smith. So not much going there in first down. The end of the third quarter, score. And that'll be the end Baldwin of the third Woodville, quarter. Baldwin Woodville 35, Prescott 0. But Prescott will have a second 10 at the Baldwin Woodville 18 because of the big return by Ethan West. And that last rushing touchdown by Cal Smith gave him his fourth touchdown on the day. Two passing, two rushing. And then the other run was the, by the other passing touchdown by Wiedendahl and Gavin Sell. Gavin Sell also has a rushing touchdown. So we knew what two were going to be the guys that they'd feature, and they have really killed the Cardinals. But see if any positive momentum can come here. Need all the momentum we can get going into next week against Ellsworth. Looks like Ethan West will stay out there. He'll be the running back in the backfield. Kobe Russell, Will Packard, Nolan Tomley, and Brody Linder. Well, that's rolled out to the right. Burnick looks. Pass is caught and out of bounds. Short of the first down. Good first down yardage, though. That is caught by, I believe, Nolan Tomlin. Tomlin and Burnick have kind of got some good chemistry going. He had a big game last week, nine catches for 160-some yards. And uh, you know, Packard and Tomlin have been his main two guys here. Third and three from the 12. Hand off West, running forward, breaks a tackle inside the five. He has been running with a purpose tonight. And he has deserved to get the ball. He has ran the Cardinals into some very big first downs. Now it'll be first and goal here at the three-yard line. Hand off West. Jukes to the right. Breaks the tackle. Close to the goal line. He's going to be short. Looks like he might have a little second effort there, but... West on the carry. Well, uh oh, we got them motion to sideline. This ain't good. We might have a bad injury here. And it's a cardinal. Everyone motioning to the sideline. The other team does it. Typically, when they do that, it's a, it's a serious one. Uh, I don't know who it is. It might be Ethan West. I'm not sure. But doesn't look good. 
We were blocked by the, as soon as we can get the number, we'll get it to you, but we were blocked by the players right now. But he initially went down, and the Baldwin-Woodville players signaled the, to the Prescott bench to come out right away. He's limping a little bit. He's up. He's moving. That's good. It was Ethan West. Hopefully he is okay because he's been one of the few positives tonight for Prescott. He's walking off on his own power. Looks like some type of lower body, knee, or an ankle. So see if he comes back in. But Timbers will replace West. No gain on the first down carry. It'll be second and goal from the three. As the defense lost Lono Thomas a couple weeks ago to Torn ACL. He was one of their best defenders of the year. And Cardinals took a big hit there by losing Lono. And they're going to check him out. Looks like they're checking the knee. Hand off Timmers. He stumbles into the arms. Second effort, Timbers though. The, the crowd wants a touchdown. He's going to be close. It's going to be short, though. He ran right into the arms of Noah Sauer. So we third down and goal from the one. Wes is now trying to run here on the sideline. Third and goal from the one. Timmers the, the run in the back. Burnick gets it to the fullback. Dives forward. No call yet. Touchdown, Prescott. It's going to be the fullback. Might be, uh, was it Timmers? Did he line up as a fullback there? Yeah, it was Barrett Timmers gets his rushing touchdown. So it's 35 to 6 now. This will be the first time we see Dietrich Ike attempt an extra point. So it'll be rushing touchdown number seven for Barrett Timmers. And the snap bobbled, and the kick is still good. The snap was bobbled and put down nicely by the holder, Tomley. And now it's 35 to seven. So the Cardinals break the shutout. They put it in the hands of Ethan West. He goes down, gets injured, and Timmers comes back in and plows it in from the one yard line. Eric Timmers has had some really hard runs tonight. Baldwin Woodville has not let him get to the outside. Typically what he likes to do and use his speed. And we had a cheerleader go down earlier, I think. So 35 to 7, 10.02 to go here in the fourth quarter. A little positivity here for the Cardinals. Fans were getting into it. Never know. Every little bit will help. Maybe they can get another stop here. Ike will be kicking off. Back to receive it. Looks like Vienendahl. And they pooch it and recovered nicely. They almost recovered it. As that was recovered by number 10, Logan Johnson. Andrew Lessel almost had it there. So let's see where they marked him. 25 yard line, first and 10. And Cal Smith and Taden Holdorf will be the running back. Four wide receivers set in the shotgun. And Smith keeps it. Smith and he's hit carry. by about three Cardinals there. He'll have five yards on the carry. Tackle by Bear. Owen Bear will get credit with the tackle there. A couple other guys were in on it too. Uh, Barrett Timmers. Who's second and five from the 30. Looks like a little confusion here on their play. 
Yeah, they got the play now. Another four wide receivers set. And Baldwin Louisville's got a call time all. Yeah, they were confused on what was going on here. Looked like the formation was not set to what they wanted to, so they got a call timeout. First charge timeout, Baldwin Woodville, 9.18 to go as they cling to a 35 to 7 lead. But Prescott put together a nice possession and a great return from Ethan West. Now they're hoping to make a stop here, maybe score again here before this game's over with. Gavin, Gavin Sell really showed tonight why he is the number one receiver in the conference. Well over 100 yards receiving, almost close to 200 total yards. He had that big run early in the first half. Let's see big David Regnier get in there. I want to see him get a sack. He's a good guy, good character, good student. Everyone likes David Regnier. Right in the middle of that defense, number 58. In the shotgun. Now in motion is Hush. Fake it to him, give it to the running back Holdorf. And right at the 35. Holdorf on the carry. Tackle by Bear. That's going to be right at the sticks. And they're going to signal first down. First down and 10. At the 36 yard line. Someone came in the backfield there. It might have been Packard, almost tripped him up by his feet. But he jumped over that and got the first down. First and 10 at their own 36. Now three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. It's Gavin Sell across from Kobe Russell. And they throw it deep to Gavin Sell, overthrowing. He might have had a step on Russell, but Russell was right there and incomplete. It's kind of a wobbly pass there, but it looked like uh, Smith had to deliver it a little early. I think it might be raining now. It is raining. Rain is coming down. I don't know why the clock is running here. It's only a 28-point game. Incomplete. I think you only do that over 30 points. So second and 10 from the 36. And that ball's underthrown and dropped. Kind of a hard catch there from for Fritz. But had to get thrown earlier there. Smith had to throw because there's pressure up front there. Off the end, William Roll and Mason Schumer put a little pressure on. So third and 10 from the 36. Well, I guess we're going to have running time here. Clock's still running. Hand off Holdorf. He's got some room off the left side. Missed tackle there. Out to Holdorf midfield the with the first down. By and before Cole Platson gets him, he's inside first Cardinal down, territory. At the -yard line. Actually, they'll mark it right at midfield, so first and 10 at the 50. Good run there from Holdorf. They're just running and running and running, eating away the clock here. What? Three wide receivers set here. Smith in the shotgun, taking all the time off the clock. Not in a hurry at all. Fake the handoff, now they go left to Holdorf. He's got room to the 40. All the way down to the 37, 36 yard line. Another first down for Baldwin Woodville. That was actually Johansson there, number 17. And William Bastian wraps him up, but not before a first down. Baldwin Woodville all the way down to the Cardinal 37-yard line. 
First and ten for Baldwin Woodville on the Prescott 37. And no hurry here for the Blackhawks. As they will gear up and get ready to play a big game at St. Croix Central next week. Central's off to a very good season as well. High-powered offense versus high-powered offense. It'll be a good one to watch. Hand off right side. That's Johansson. He's got some room. Cross the 30. Down towards the 25. Johansson and carry. that'll be another first down. Tackle by Bear. Are they... Maybe they're That's not going to. First down. Let's say the chains aren't moving, but it's supposed to be a first down. First I believe. and ten for Baldwin Woodville on the Prescott 27. First and ten at the 28 yard line. And just run, run, run now. Take time off the clock. Four wide receivers set. Smith will be in the shotgun. Looking over to the sideline, and they're going to pass it here. Try to set up a screen, and not much there for Smith, and he is going to run backwards and split the sack there. It's going to be number 50, Smith, for Mason Schumer. I don't know what he's doing there. He's just trying to stay in bounds and run the clock out, but he ran. They're going to lose a bunch of yards here. Loss of 10. Through second and 20 at the 37. And Schumer will get credit with that sack. So second and 20. It's Mason Schumer's fifth sack on the year, number five. Approaching the three and a half minute mark in the game. 35-7, Baldwin-Woodville. More pressure up the middle. And he's getting sacked again. So back-to-back -back sacks here for Prescott. Smith clumped for a loss by Rainier. And there's Regnier. The guy wanted to get one, got one. Bastian was there as well. Now it's third and 23 at the 40-yard line. And it's just a little too late for Prescott. They're getting the good plays, getting pressure up front, but it's just a little too late with three minutes to go here. But, like I said, momentum can do anything to your team. Any type of positive momentum with two games left to play. Now he gets the sign from the sideline. Time running out. Gets his snap. Inside to hold off and another negative play. So they're going to lose about four or five more. It's going to be a long fourth down. And now Prescott coming to play here. That's Bastion again. Tackled by Bastion. As well as Regnier. So it'll be fourth. I believe 25. Fourth and 23 from the 45-yard line. Gonna keep the offense out there. It's gonna be fourth and twenty eight from the forty five. <laughs> and Baldwin Woodville calls timeout, one forty eight to go. And well, Prescott last three plays, two sacks and a tackle for a loss. So that's something to put their heads up high here and think about. Circle that one in their playbook. As Ethan West has been a bright spot tonight. Nolan Tomley had a couple big plays. Mason Schumer and David Regnier coming alive here in the last possession. Not all negatives. You've got to find the positives, put it together next week. So let's see what they want to do here. Fourth and 28. At the 45 yard line. <clears throat> so 
Smith is out there. Four wide receivers set. Back to pass. Pratt throws it up, and it is dropped. He had it in his hands. Knocked away. Number 16, Cole Platts in good play. And turnover on downs. So clock's still running here. So I guess they have running time. 115 to go. Cardinals get it to 45. Only way the clock can stop is on timeouts. Looks like the first team offense will still come out here. First and 10 for the Cardinals on their own 45. Uh, late check in Ethan West is back out there. Good to see that. He was uh, attended to earlier for an injury. Back to pass is Burnick. Can't find anything. Runs right side. Tripped up at midfield. Gets across midfield. Scan is seven. Give him six on the play. Second and four. From the 48. Back to pass is Burnick. Sees nothing, rolls left. And overthrowing Russell, he fell down, but he wasn't going to catch it. And we're going to wind down the last second series, but we won't do a play here. So five seconds left. Baldwin Woodville looked like the number six ranking they, they were. They will go to six and one, four and one in the conference. As Prescott will drop to four and three, two and three in the conference on homecoming night. We want to thank everyone who tuned in tonight. I'm Chris Hove and Lucas Peterson on, on camera tonight did a great job. Heather Hove in the control room. This was a Larry M production. We want to thank you to a couple of weeks. I believe we're back here against uh, Rice Lake in two weeks. But tune in for all the volleyball games as well. I believe we have a couple more home games. And uh, till then, we'll see you next time. Have a great night, everyone.